Hi guys, welcome back on my channel, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artist and Educator here and today we are going to do back to basics, completely back to basics and uh, design. This is going to be a French uh, classic nail, you can have a wee preview of it in here. This isn't something which I do a lot and uh, I don't do much of it in the salon, but it's kind of like a stuff which every beginner nail technician should practice and practice just to get the control over the uh, product, over the brush, and just to know the proper uh, and correct structure of the nail. I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start! <laughs> So we are going to do the construction French uh, on my nail. Excuse my nail, uh, I have been really bad for applying the cuticle oil. I didn't apply it, uh, so I've got a wee nick and I just cut it off. Uh, now I'm just going to prep my natural nail. Uh, so using a new file, I'm going to give a scratches to my natural nail. Like make sure there is no shiny bits and pieces. This isn't something I would wear on my nails and this isn't something I would do on my clients' nails, but this is a back to basic uh, training and most of the schools, I don't know really why still teach this technique. Uh, maybe because it's also used for competitions nails as well and it's a kind of classic way of doing the nails. I think it's just more time consuming, especially when the clients comes in for a rebalance. Now underneath of the nails, they might be a bits and pieces, so you really need to clean them well. Remove any dust which is on the nail plate. Take a blue scrub, which is a nail dehydrator. So that's a blue scrub and clean the entire surface of the nail plate. Like really well, clean underneath. And then we are going to apply the nail form. So that's the sculpting form I'm going to use. Pull the sticker back. This goes underneath and I choose my thumb just uh, so it is harder to sculpt the thumbnail uh, but uh, once I sculpt this nail I will need to almost remove it down to zero to be able to change this design and that's why I choose the thumb. And I have cut the forms just in the corners. My nail folds are really large so you either cut the um, form on the sides or you can also make it larger that helps quite a lot as well and I'm going to do that as well for my thumbnail because the correct form application is crucial and the nail I'm going to sculpt is going to be tapered square like I, I'm really not a fan of the square nails maybe because I love coffin shape so much so roll the finger uh, roll the forms in between the fingers Close it gently. The taps needs to be exactly the same. Don't squish it at the end uh, because we are going for those kind of square-ish look. I still need to trim the form because of my nail, fold, nail folds. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be able to trim it and pinch it properly. Okay, I want my form to go slightly up. This way I get a really nice shape of the nail. And you can see the width of my nail. So I don't want my nail to be any wider, especially that we are going to apply some product on top of it. And uh, this is going to give us some extra thickness. Then once I'm happy with the form application, how straight it go, then I can start closing the form. Okay, so I'm closing the form in here. Don't close it too much at the end uh, because we want those square looking nails. Taper it square to be exact. Okay, so that's my form apply. And now we are going to sculpt this beautiful nail. Not that it is practical and functional. <laughs> I'm going to use the nail prep, which is an extra nail dehydrator. And then universal air bond. Wait for it to dry. And also I do not even stock this white uh, because I'm totally not a fan of it. 
Uh, I love paint on French gel and I always do paint on French gel. So universal air bond and then it needs to dry and then we are going to do it uh, cover pink. Uh, so that will be light rose, clear as a base and then sculpting gel and white. Like so that's a kind of gel which you can file, file it and that's a gel which you need to really massage it like it's so time consuming to apply. That's why I'm not a fan of it. Okay, so first thing is a layer of the clear gel and you can use any kind of sculpting gel and clear. So pick up a small amount of the product, remove the excess of it and then apply it through the entire nail plate, nice and thin layer, nice and thin layer. Okay, once you have applied it through the entire nail, pick up another scoop and on the free edge you need to be extremely thin. So you want to apply a little bit more at the place where the nail is joining, but not too much. And then the more to the end you go, the thinner you go. Like really thin. Otherwise you will have like a sandwich effect, which is not nice. Okay, I'm going to the letter L. Like making sure I've got nice and straight line. Making sure I've got nice straight line. And you need to work really thin with your product, but also you need to apply it very evenly if you want to have a nice pinch. Once you're happy with it, put it inside the lamp and give it halfway cure so we can start pinching this nail. And this gel cures in 30 seconds, so we are going to cure it only 15 seconds and then start pinching. So another couple seconds cure. And then using a clear pinching clamps, we are going to pinch this nail. Check it if it's cure and if you don't apply the gel even then you will get places which will pinch better and places which will pinch less. So the thinner the gel is the more it will pinch and the thicker the gel is the less it is going to pinch. Also if your nails are really weak I do not recommend it pinching because uh, then the first of all the nail could crack all the way through and then secondly it will cause the lifting of the product from the side as well so you really need a nice and strong nails. And then we are going to use the cover gel and I have choose the light rose and fiber gel. So let me just finish curing this nail. And now we are going to, I actually going to pinch it a little bit more, just on the one side, two seconds cure, one, two. And then we can apply the cover gel. So when we apply the cover gel, I'm going to twist my finger this way, sorry cameraman. We need to build up and extend the nail bed. So I want to extend my nail bed somewhere up to here in a nice uh, shape. Pick up a nice and small scope of the product because you want it to be really nice and flush around the cuticle area. Like you want the lunula to be visible. So nice and thin layer first and then pick up a large scoop of the product like really decent amount of the product and now we are going to build up our apex and cover the natural nail. Don't lift your hand up because then you introduce the air bubbles. And I'm working more through the middle of the nail because by the time I finish doing this process the gel is going to run to the sides. So make it nice shape and then touch up the product to the sides. You can see it how the product is running to the sides. 
So if you would apply much more, then it would be very difficult to control it. Okay, get it nice reverse smile line. And then twist it upside down and then give it a cure. Close your products and cure the cover gel. Then we are going to apply the sculpting gel white and create our smile line. You can also file away the smile line, but again, that would be really time consuming. So we will do it without the filing the smile line. Okay, the cover is almost cure. So pick up the white quite a decent amount of the white and now we are going to add our smile line and you can see this is a gel which you really need to strongly massage it in so I'm just going to remove it at first clean my brush because with the clean brush you've got more con more control over your products so clean my brush and now we are going to massage this uh, product in. So lots of lots of movement. very close to your smile line keep massaging and don't lift your brush uh, from the product each time when you lift your brush from the product you are introducing some air bubbles in there okay nice and high to the corner And I'm kind of pushing the product to the smile line. Don't apply it like too much either because then it might run and you really don't want that. And this white gel you can file it. So that's actually a, quite a good thing uh, because then you can make a really nice shape. So I'm just introducing more gel. Closer to the smile line. The corner of the smile line. Don't make the corners too high, because if you do them too high, you are going to overfile them later on. So you're kind of working almost like with the string of the product. And then smooth it out into the free edge. All the way down. On the side. And because we are going to do it this kind of square shape of the nail, we need to come pretty low down. And same on the other side. This is a very classic looking nail.
And I don't think so clients wear those kind of needles anymore. Everyone wears coffee or stiletto needles. Okay, I'm just going to clean my brush and work out on the smile line. So all the surface is nice and smooth. And now let's do the smile line. So what you could do, you've got two choices and I show you both of them. You could kind of keep correcting your smile line by pushing the gel and that's what I'm doing now. And you better push it like kind of a little bit higher because if you do some mistake you can clean your brush with the UV cleanser and you could easily move your smile line into the right place. Okay, I'm almost there. So clean my brush like really well. And now we are going to correct the smile line. So clean the brush. And now we are going to go one side and then other side. So one side. Sorry, cameraman. Push it to the corner. And then the other side. Now, don't, you really need to have a clean brush because you don't want those smudges to be visible. And work more with the side of the brush rather than with the tip of the brush. Okay, check how the smile line looks. And then once you're happy with it, you can give it a cure. Close your products and our next step is to apply some clear. And when we're applying the clear, you cannot apply it too thick because then your white will go not as white and it's not going to look nice. So white needs to cure really well. My nail is almost cooked. Okay, so I'm just going to pick up some clear and apply over it. So pick up a scoop and apply the clear. So nice and thin layer through the entire nail. Check the apex. And then once you're happy, put it inside the lamp. And give it a cure so cure only half a time and then give it uh, an extra pinch i like those extra pinch because <laughs> um, those kind of square nails they feel really heavy to me like and thick so we are going to give them an extra extra pinch couple seconds longer and then an extra pinch I really want to pinch it well. And then give it a cure. So now I'm going to give it a final cure. So it is going to be a 60 seconds cure. And then we can move on into the shaping. In the meantime, I will peel the form dime and we pinch them from the bottom as well. That's what I like to do it. Just so they look a bit more narrow. So halfway through, pull the form down and you can see it from underneath. It looks quite nice and pinched. So 
so even better pinch so we've got 50% of the tarikle with the pinching there we are and then give it a cure so I've got just a couple seconds uh, longer and then I can I will also break through the shape with you as well like the apex placement as well and the pinching and and all that so the nail is ready and it has to be like kind of straight all the way through the side walls need to be parallel to each other and then you can see them from both of the side plus you can see a pinching as well like a c-carve so it is a really carved nail um, I will probably taper it a little bit uh, just because I always taper the nails like I feel I actually show you guys this like this is so thick and um, I don't know it's just so the square nails are so thick like compared to the coffin nails uh, that's why it is always um, I'm not the fan of those kind of uh, shape nails but we want to go back to the basics so the side walls nice and straight nice and straight nice and straight okay you don't have much of the filing really then on the other side same nice and straight nice and straight and the straight file is actually fantastic for those kind of work then we want to fix the free edge a little bit blend everything around the cuticle area so we need to remove all this bulk of the product blend it everything really well like you don't want to find any places which you can catch You can also see it the apex is starting here and runs through the entire nail and that's that's the shapes of the nails like i like it the most now we are going to smooth it a little bit the full nail and this movement is just perfect because this way you are filing evenly on the entire nail same on the sides and on this side The only bonus of this gel is that you can file it and even if you file it over the white you are not going to um, damage the white because it's a gel which you can file it. Okay now I need to turn this nail into this way because I can see it I've got the bulk of the product in here. So still keep filing and those nails ideally they should be about a credit card thickness now the file goes at the angle because we want to have them a little bit rounded at the free edge Okay, and now we just need to smooth out the hairline so keep filing check the shape of the nail and then take a buffer and the buffer is going to sort out most of the shape for us like and take any imperfection of this nail So with the buffer you want to go exactly the same way nice and straight nice and straight and you keep going don't put too much big pressure because you want to really remove the places where you've got the excess of the product and then keep filing okay you keep going not too much pressure because if you don't put too much pressure then you would really remove the places you need it but also at the same time you don't want to overfile this nail ok 
Okay, a couple more. Quick, quick, quick. I think we're almost there. Same at the free edge, so just keep going. Check this view as well. I will try to twist my finger. There we are. It they has to be at the same height as well, so you can just file it from underneath. You can check them this way as well. Touch up the side walls. Don't over file them. Like if it has to be um, nice and kind of square needles, you cannot taper at them too much. I will do it with this needle. Like after I finish this tutorial, it's straight away is going to go tapered, <laughs> or even take it at all. Yeah, um, because as I say, I'm I'm really big not fan of doing a classic way of the needles. I mean. They are people which love it, those kind of look. I'm, I'm, I'm not the fan of it. Remove the um, dust. We could still blend it a little bit more at the cuticle area. And then apply the top coat. And basically that's the nail finished. Okay, clean it well and then apply the top coat. So like make sure there is no air bubbles, nothing in there, no dust. You can also see I've got a little missing product in there. So I have just filled it up with the top coat, put it quickly inside the lamp, and then I show you the final results. So yeah, a bit unusual tutorials, but it was requested as well, so I have just recorded. So I need to cure it properly. And I actually can't wait to do my nails like in a nice coffin shape. Uh, so that's what is coming next, definitely. Uh, get rid of those French natural nails. Uh, I think that's have been the longest time for the last few years when I had just such a short natural nails. Uh, but that's this nail finish and I can show you the final results. So we've got the French. You can see how the light is reflecting on it. The apex. So you've got the apex all starting there, coming through the entire surface of the nail and then I show you also the curvature of the nail as well and the side view so yeah I hope you have enjoyed this unusual tutorial uh, with the classic uh, old-fashioned way I would say uh, doing the nails and glittery hacks and bye for now